Hey guys, it is Kara. I'm a little bit early. I um, hope that y'all can hear me. Somebody let me know if my sound is working. I'm going to turn the AC unit off so maybe you can hear me better. Um, also, if you're watching this from a private group, hello, Miss Karen. Um, can you hear me? Uh, if you're watching this from a private group, I just wanted to say uh, you're going to have to grant StreamYard permission. Sorry about that. I'm um, trying to, I forgot to turn my phone off. Um, okay, perfect. You're going to have to grant StreamYard permission to show me your name. If you're watching from my public page, then I will be able to see who you are. Okay. So I did something a little bit different this month. I am going on vacation next week. And so I'm doing our monthly projects for a little bit early. Our DIY home decor boxes, they shipped out a couple days early and some people have already gotten theirs. So we're actually going live tomorrow to do that box reveal. But I wanted to come on and do a fun project with you and let you know that if you would like to sign up for the June 25th shipment, which is beach themed, um, we are already taking reservations for that box. If you're already a member of the DIY Home Decor Box, you don't have to sign back up. Your payment automatically drafts each month until you cancel and you will get the next box. And guys, let me tell you, the next two, three, four boxes are planned out and they are amazing. So I am so excited for all that is coming. Um, we're only opening 20 spots because um, it's just me cutting and packing and all the things. Um, so if you would like to sign up, the link is in the description. It's also in the comments. You can also get on our text list to get live notifications. Just text the word fun or um, DIY to 743, I'm sorry, 740-273-8101 or go to textcara.com and from your mobile phone and you'll be able to just click over and shoot me a quick message. Okay, so I'm gonna set this up here and we are gonna get started. So today we're doing something that I actually learned from my friend Tracy at the Little Blue House, I believe is the name of her business and she napkinizes everything. And I watched her um, and actually joined her group because I was so intrigued um, I watched her napkinize a few months ago and I've been hooked ever since. So back when we had our members retreat in April, I actually showed the members how to do this. And I'm going to show you today because this is a huge part of our box for this month, the one that I will be doing live tomorrow. But I found this adorable chicken wire kind of frame um, and I wanted to make something super fun out of it. And I wanted to incorporate a napkin, but I also want to incorporate something called the wormhole wormhole tool. This came from um, uh, Julie did it studio. She designed this and I love this idea. And this is actually um, one of the boxes coming up. I believe it's in three months, maybe four um, is actually going to include a wormhole tool. But if you sprinkle this video today, um, you will be entered to win your own wormhole tool. Um, I will be sending one of these to a lucky winner. And so I just kind of want to show you guys what we're doing. So I've got my wormhole tool. I have my napkin and I'm not going to use, this is not the actual napkin I'm going to use, but I'm going to show you how to take it apart with this napkin because the napkin that I am going to use is already taken apart. So guys, I'm super shaky today, so bear with me. I'm just going to cut a square from this napkin and I'm going to show you how to kind of take it apart. So y'all will see this again tomorrow when we do our live box reveal, um, but it will be a patriotic project. All right, so now that I have my my piece of napkin, I'm gonna stick my lick and stick is what Miss Tracy calls it. And I'm just gonna do the corner and then I can pull these layers apart. Now, you wanna get down to where you're only, you only have one layer. I think I have two here. So I'm gonna try to bring it apart again. Miss Teresa Colson, how are you, love? 
Um, Uh-oh, man, I'm so shaky. Okay, so gently, very gently, you want to pull these napkins apart. Thank you for sprinkling, love. Appreciate it. Okay, so I'm pulling this apart. Now you have the one ply that you're actually going to use of the napkin. And let me show you what I'm going to do with this. It'll be probably a project coming up. Um, but I'm actually going to use this napkin, which is this gorgeous lavender. And I'm going to do it on this little bitty tray that I found. Can you all see that? So it's going to go on this little bitty tray. And um, it's going to go next to my tiered tray whenever I change my tiered tray decor. So that's what this one's going to be for. But I've already taken apart the napkins that I'm going to use, or the napkin that I'm going to use today. This is um, one I had already taken apart. But first, before we do the napkin part of it, I want to show you how to use our worm tool. And we're going to go ahead and distress this frame. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to thank you all so much for sprinkling. Um, don't forget your inner twin, your own worm tool. Um, if you sprinkle, so this is a bunch of little screws. And what you're going to do is you're just going to randomly all over your wood, wherever you want it. You can do more or less, however you want it. But you're just going to kind of go all over it. Some of them you can do harder than the others. But let me show you up close what that looks like. Can you all see that? All right, so I'm just going to do that all the way around. This part in the middle is a little bit thinner wood, so it doesn't, doesn't want to take it quite as well. You want to be careful not to break. And you can see some of them I'm hitting harder and some of them I'm just hitting once and moving on. So I'm going to go all the way around. All right. I think I've got that part. So let me turn it around. Let me this part. Oh, sorry. Now, I don't have a screw in every one of my holes, only because I didn't have enough screws. I'm going to have to go to the hardware store and buy a whole bunch of screws. Um, but, like I said, if you are not a DIY box member, and um, we did open registration for those today, you have until June the 4th or 5th, I can't remember, to sign up. It's 10, it's 10 days, but we're only opening 20 boxes. So when those boxes are gone, I'm going to close registration. So this, um, we will be using this tool in a project coming up, and we will be using the napkinizing technique uh, in the project for this month. But this opens up so many doors for you as a crafter to do different things, especially if you, you're not a great painter. And, I mean, you can still be a great painter and use this technique, but... If you find a napkin you love, you can almost make it look painted. Okay, I think I'm good. So what I'm going to do now, you will need for this method, you're going to need baby wipes or hand sanitizing wipes, some kind of wipes. Oh, Teresa said she got her box about 30 minutes ago. Well, Teresa, meet me here tomorrow because we are going to do it live. So super excited about tomorrow's box. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to work in small sections. And I'm going to grab a paintbrush. And where's my rag? I just had it. Where did it go? Um, let me grab my towel. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I've got my, just got a microfiber towel and I've got a paintbrush. I'm going to dry it off. 
And this is, I'll show you the color I'm using. It is burnt umber. It's an apple barrel color that I use a lot. Um, you don't need a lot of it, but what you're gonna do, and this is an angled brush. I'm gonna work in a small section and I'm just gonna kind of dab this into those holes. Dab it in there so I make sure those holes get good and covered. And then I'm going to slide, just barely brush a little bit of paint. Like I just don't want it to be super thick. Then I'm going to set my brush to the side. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our baby wipe or hand sanitizing wipe, whatever you have. And we're going to wipe and almost stain this wood. But all of that dark is going to stay in that wormhole. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of wipe that off. You can wipe as much or as little off as you want. And we're actually, I want this to be more white. So we're actually going to go back over the whole thing when we're done with white. Um, and so it'll brighten it up just a little bit. But let me show you up close what that looks like. Can y'all see that? So we're going to go, we're going to do that in small sections all the way around. And if you are in my private group, if you're in my virtual paint party or my home decor box, um, I will be live this afternoon painting our door hanger of the month. So I'm super excited about that one too. Getting all the things done ahead of time this month. I didn't want y'all to be waiting on me. And I didn't know what it was going to look like while I'm in Texas with my family. But we would just do it all a little bit early and give you all a little bit of extra time to do your projects. Don't forget if you're just hopping on or if you missed the announcement, if you sprinkle the video, um, you will be entered to win your own little wormhole tool. All right, I'm just going to brush some of that down. Now, I'm going to rub, rub it off. You want to make sure you work in small sections so that it doesn't dry before you have time to rub it off. And you can get a new wipe as often as you want to. That's probably the last time I'll use this one. And I'll get another one. Okay. So keep going. This, let me show you all that again up close. See how that just takes, I mean, we went from this bright unfinished wood to this aged vintage weathered look. And I don't know if you just jumped on, we, um, our home decor boxes we opened our subscription up to 20 new people um, this month and next month um, your first shipment would be june 25th and it's going to be beach themed so you're always a, a month ahead payment wise because i have to order all the stuff and cut all the boxes and all of that good stuff um, but the next one that we are shipping out is beach themed. Hey, Kristen! So I'm <clears throat> super excited. I think y'all will love it. And it's very customizable. I don't know if that's the right word for it. But you're going to be able to use it, like redecorate it for other, for not just beach themed. All right. Rub that paint down. Get another white. Hello, Tanya. How are you? We are having fun with our wormhole tool. Just rub it in. I 
I've let that get a little bit dry, but that's okay. So what we did was we used our hammer and our wormhole tool, which if you sprinkle the video, you'll be entered to win your very own wormhole tool. If you're a DIY box member, um, coming up in a few months, uh, we will you will get one of these tools in your box. Uh, I want to say I want to say it's September, but don't quote me on that. So we are just taking burnt umber paint and we're dabbing it down into these holes that we created with our wormhole tool. And then we are wiping them down. We're doing this in very small sections so that our paint does not dry too quickly. And we can wipe it off. But just leave the paint down in those holes. Do y'all like this technique? You'll have to let me know if this is something y'all y'all like. I try to give you new stuff. And don't forget, tomorrow... I will be live with our box reveal. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Let that get a little bit dark, but that's okay. All right, so now we've got the section done. Now you can go a lot quicker if you want to. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't get it too dark because I want to go back and um, whitewash over it so that my flowers or my napkin are going to show up. And then I also brought some florals to my table today because I think I'm going to add some florals after we're all done to kind of bring it all together. I'm glad you think it's very cool because we've got this, like I said, we will be incorporating this technique into a box coming up, but I wanted to use it on this because I just thought this piece was going to be so pretty. And I know some of you are going to ask me where I got this and I got it at Ross actually found it there. They probably sell it at Michael's, um, but I, I did find this this one at Ross, and I thought, gotta have it. Okay, so I think those holes. I get another wipe, and these wipes just came from Dollar Tree, and I, um, I, I kind of just buy them in bulk and keep them at my paint table. You can use baby wipes. You can use these hand sanitizing wipes. Whatever you want to use. You need to make that a little bit darker. Add a little bit of color to that. It's not way off. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay. So we've got the top part done. Yes, we will work on the bottom. I'm going to turn the air conditioner back on. Uh, will y'all please tell me if it's too loud? Turn it down. But it's getting warm in here. We got the laser cutting today. Oh, so pretty. Can't get over how pretty it is. Is that too loud? Somebody tell me. Somebody out there in cyberspace, let me know. Oh, good. Thank you. I'm like, sweating. I was on um, a live yesterday with, well, a friend of mine was 
was live yesterday and um, she was worried her air condition had turned on and she was worried it was too loud and I couldn't hear it either when she was recording. Um, but it just makes you nervous. You're like, I don't want to be talking and nobody can hear me. All right, so we're just painting and rubbing, painting and rubbing. So the main idea here is you want to make your wood look somewhat stained, but you want to keep the paint down in those wormholes that you created so that you still have that dark effect in those holes and they look weathered. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to push some paint over here. I'm going to show you the difference up close. Okay, so right here are the dark wormholes. And over here, you can see these bright white. That's where I just went over with my wipe, but I didn't put paint down in those holes. So you're not going to get the same effect if you don't put the paint down in those holes, which is why we're dabbing just kind of straight up and down and getting that paint down in those holes. add a little bit of water to this, this paint. Water it down just a little bit. It's getting too thick. So who wants to win their own wormhole maker, their wormhole tool? All you have to do is click that button and sprinkle the video with your friends and you will be entered to win your own wormhole tool maker. Oh, so pretty. Okay, we're almost done guys. Bear with me. Oh, watering your paint down helps a lot. Wish I would have thought about that in the beginning. Just makes it go down in that hole easier. more color to those. I'll come back and wipe it down. Thank you for sprinkling. Oh, Susie, is that's not where you live, is it? Are you on vacation? I sent a text out this morning and um, I got a response that somebody had just pulled up to Disney. It's like, oh, how fun. So they won't be joining me live today, but I hope they're having fun at, in Disney, at Disney. I don't know how you say that. Okay. All right. I'm going to grab a fresh wipe and I'm going to wipe all of these areas where I've just slopped on some paint off. See. Thank you for joining. I always think like, oh, am I catching everybody at a bad time? But sometimes as a work from home mama, I just have to roll with whatever the schedule allows. Okay, I'm gonna add, I'm just kind of looking and I want more color in a couple of these places. So I'm just kind of going back with my watered down paint and brushing it on and then letting it sit for just a second and wiping it off. Oh, needs a little bit more right there. Okay. Now it's not gonna be 100% perfect because we have like the wood glue and other aspects on here, but it's going to be pretty awesome. I think you're going to like it. Okay, so I'm done with that part. I'm, I'm done with my worm hole tool. I'm going to put this paintbrush in the water. I'm going to grab a fresh 
paintbrush. Actually, I may try just going straight to the baby wipe. Let me do that. Let me go into my white paint because I told y'all I'm going to do this napkin on here, right? But I want it to be brighter. I want the napkin to really pop. So, right down here out of the way so i want this napkin to really pop so what i want to do is i'm going to take my baby wipe and i'm going to dip it in white paint just dip it in white paint i don't want to get down in those worm holes but i just want to rub it all over here and brighten that back up so i want my worm holes to still be dark but i want to brighten this whole frame And right now, it's kind of, we may need to do two coats. Because right now, it's kind of mixing with that brown. And it's making like a lighter brown, which I really want it to have a, a brighter white look to it. So what we'll do is we'll put this first coat on with our baby wipe. And I'll let it dry. And then we'll go back and put another quick coat on. It's funny, you can tell they used different kinds of wood when they made this because um, they, it takes the paint differently. Main thing is you want it to look kind of seamless. So you want to make sure where those pieces come together that you smooth them out. Okay, let me show you all up close <clears throat> where we're at. We're just kind of brightening that up. I'm going to flip this around. Get some more paint on my baby white. We're just going to keep going. Now, if you liked that really worn wood look that was the darker, you could just stop there. And I really wanted to show you all this technique so that you could apply it to other things that you may have laying around your house or that you see at, in the dollar bin. Because it's a really cool technique and you can, you know, darken it, lighten it, whatever you want to do. Okay, I'm getting to the to the part where I started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to hit this with the blow dryer so that then I can add another quick coat of white. So let me just wrap up this last. <laughs> I'm sorry, Laura. That's okay. It'll be available on the replay. We used the wormhole tool, which if you sprinkle, you will be entered to win your own wormhole tool. Um, and now we're using that staining technique. We're using some white over the top of the brown that we put down in our wormholes. So this will be available to watch again. Um, the napkin technique that we're going to use today, we will also be using in our home decor box. Well, hello, Alicia. Hi, Kellen. How are you, buddy? Okay, let's see. All right, I think we've got a good first coat on. Y'all bear with me for just a second. I'm going to hit it with blow dryer. Maybe I can find it. I rearranged my table and now I can't find anything. <laughs> Thank you for sprinkling. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's all I needed to do with that. So I'm going to add some more white paint to my my plate. Ooh, I got a paint boogie. I'm going to grab, I think I'll grab that same baby wipe. Fold it over. And I'm going to put one more coat of the white over the top. Brighten it up. That way those wormholes will really pop and I'll get that brighter white background for my napkin. And those of you that are just joining and you're like, um, you're gonna be doing what with napkins? Just wait, guys, just wait. I'm telling you, when I saw Miss Tracy use the napkin on her first craft, I was like, it's a game changer. Uh-oh, I got some down in my wormholes so I can scrub it out. Oh, well. If you put too much paint on your baby wipe, you fill in those wormholes. So you don't want to do that. I made that mistake. And friends, we're just rubbing paint on at this point. I'm going to flip it around again. Brightening it up. You'll see how much brighter that second coat did. And friends, if you're just joining us, we opened up some new spots for the home decor box. Your first shipment would be June 25th, and it will be a beach-themed um, box. And if you would like to join us, um, we opened those spots up, and registration started today. Um, you will be getting an email about it. I have not sent the email out yet, so as a watcher today, you get first dibs on those spots. If you're already a member, you don't have to sign back up. You're already getting your beach themed box next month. And friends, we have some amazing boxes coming up. <laughs> hey guys, look what um, Miss Melissa just said. Helen said that purple would look really good. Okay, friends, I'm gonna run wash my hands super fast. And then I'm gonna show you guys the magic of using this napkin on our craft project. Um, you'll have to have Mod Pod for this part. Sorry. I'll grab the snack while I was up. I didn't eat before I jumped on. And now I'm getting hungry. Okay, friends. So here is the next part. And the next part, and if you missed the first part of the video, I showed you how to separate your napkin layers. What the that one? So that you ended up with one thin napkin layer and I've already got this one is is one thin napkin layer <sighs> so we are going to cut the parts that we want and put them onto this frame so here's what we're going to do first I'm going to clean up my mess just really quickly throw this stuff back in here so I have room to cut okay so I'm going to do what, when I used to sew a lot, 
they call it fussy cutting. I'm gonna fussy cut my napkin so that I can get it exactly where for the pieces to show that I want to show. So I'm gonna kind of just look at it. Just gonna kind of look at it and see, I wanna cut this part off. I do want that purple flower. <clears throat> I'm only gonna do the top. So I'm gonna cut this part right here so I can go ahead and use it. Let me just get my scissors in here. Cut just this part. Oh, friends, I'm so shaky. I'm so sorry. And then I'm going to cut this part off where the pink is like pink stripe down at the bottom. Friends, if this doesn't show you that anyone can craft, here I am, like I can't even hold my scissors. I don't know what does. All right, and then I'm gonna set it back here. <clears throat> and I think we will Mod Podge that and then we'll use our, what you call it, um, sanding block. Okay, so I've got my Mod Podge and I have just one of these cheap foam brushes. <clears throat> First thing we're gonna do, friends, I use Mod Podge by the gallon. So I use these little cups to just pour it in, they're disposable. Um, but I just want to put a good thick coat of Mod Podge down where the napkin's going to go. Thank you, Teresa. I seriously, friends, like I remember it was probably about a year and a half ago. I almost canceled a live because I was so shaky. And I'm so glad I went live because I didn't realize how many other people deal with that. Um, and not that it made me feel better, but what I felt like it did was it, it helped <clears throat> my friends who were watching live be okay with, um, you know, they're shaking and know that, you know, it, sometimes we just have to kind of overcome. All right. I forgot my brush. So normally I have a, um, a brush to tap this down. It's one of those, shoot, what are they called? The, oh, chip brush. I usually use a chip brush, but I don't have my chip brush. So I'm just going to use this to kind of get those wrinkles out. And then I'm going to let that sit. Okay. I'm going to let that start drying. I'm going to show you up close. Okay. So I've just Mod Podge that on. We're going to work our way around the frame. We're not going to cover the whole thing. But what we want to do is we want to just kind of pick some of these flowers and kind of highlight them. So just a second. I'm, I actually grabbed m and Isn't that terrible? But the only thing I had sitting there. Okay. So I know for sure I want that pop corner to also have decoration. And I think I want, yeah, so let's do that. Let's find a piece that we can put up here in this hot corner. I think I'll just do some of this smaller floral. I guess it would be okay if it was the same. Um, no, I think we're going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to cut from about right here to, I guess I'll do this whole, I guess to about right here. Okay, so let's cut this. <sighs> so annoying. All right, let me set this back up here and see how far I wanted to go. That's good. So right at the end of that purple flower. Then I'm going to trim around here. Now, there is a word printed right here, um, but I am not really concerned about that word. It will be okay. 
So this is what we're going to put on this side up here. So I'm going to get some more Mod Podge. We're going to Mod Podge or Mud Pie, whichever one you want to do. We're going to Mod Podge or Mud Pie this area. And then we're going to set that on there. Didn't get it all the way at the top. Let me try that again. This is why you want to put a, a healthy coat of Mod Podge because if you want to reposition it, you don't have very much Mod Podge. It starts drying really quickly. Okay, so like I said, I forgot my chip brush. So I'm just kind of tapping this down. Now I did get this pink right there and I did not want that. So I'm going to lift it one more time gently and reposition. Now, if you get a few wrinkles, it's okay. Not the end of the world. There we go. Okay, that's better. I can still see a little bit of that pink border, but I'll well, probably when we sand it, I'll probably be able to get that off. Let me just get a little bit of glue right there. All right, so now that part's done. Let's see, so we've got that little bit. I think we'll do a lot more down at this corner, maybe the same type. I might not pull the exact same flowers. I might do this flower and these little pink ones. That would be really pretty. Yeah, I think we'll do that, and then we'll do something up there on the top. <clears throat> so let me cut this little kind of yellow. I don't know what these are called. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, so that's the way I want it positioned. Let me show you that right there. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Lift it up and put my Mod Podge down. I'm slopping it everywhere today. And then I'm just going to dab my napkin down. Get a little bit more right here, right here. Now, if you get too much Mod Podge, it's okay. You can just wipe it, wipe it off. But you don't want to wipe your napkin once you put the Mod Podge on there, okay? Because you will tear it. So, can y'all see that? So, now let me flip this around. And I want to do something purple up here. So, I think I'm going to grab this last, well, this purple flower. And I think, let's see, we'll do, to go the other way. Yep, I think we're going to do it like that. So we've got a little bit of purple, this yellow, and we're going we're gonna to kind of do it just like that. So it'll be, yeah. All right, so let me cut this off. Now, I want to cut as much of this greenery that's underneath this flower off because I want the purple to be dominant. So in that aspect, I'm going to fussy cut. Now I've got enough of that cut off. Trim this napkin. And I'm going to put some Mod Podge on here. And I'm going to lay this, this part, this side down first. Where I want it. I don't want it like that. Okay, and then I'll grab a little bit more and go this way with it. There we go. Okay, so you can, at this point, you can let this dry <clears throat> on its own, or you could hit it with a blow dryer. I'm going to choose to hit it with a blow dryer because I want to show y'all what it's going to look like after we sand it.
Okay, I think that's about dry. I'm going to grab our cement block. Okay, I'm going to start with this part that I know is dry. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of sand downward. So I just want to file those edges off. I'm just going to sand downward, clean up that edge. Now you can see that edge is nice and straight. Same thing here. You can go all the way around it like that. Now, when it comes to this part in here, I'm going to have to kind of lift and cut. And gently sand down. <clears throat> okay. Now, this is going to be a little bit harder, but we're just going to kind of gently sand down. We can knock that edge off. We are going to go back and cover this one more time. Can y'all see that? How pretty that is? Um, you know what? <laughs> I did it upside down. I, my hooks are down here. And oh well, we'll, we'll make it work. Um, I meant to turn it around before I started napkinizing. Edge. Okay. Now make sure it's all the way dry before you do that, or else you'll be like me and you'll rip it a little bit. Okay, while that, um, since I've already done that part, I'm going to coat this napkin pretty well with Mod Podge. Only the one that's all the way dry. I need to hit this one with the blow dryer. This whole frame because I want it to have the same sheen and this will also protect your paint having that layer of Mod Podge on there will protect your paint and we're gonna cover this one too and we'll flip this frame around and start working on the other part all right I'm gonna turn that around one part that's lifted right there. Okay, so now I need to sand this part. <clears throat> Make sure it's dry. Sand down. Then I'm gonna kind of crease it right here. And I'm gonna sand it this direction. So I can kind of just tear that napkin right off there. Okay. Can y'all see that? So now we have that border. I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge that. Got a little piece that's lifted, so I'm gonna Mod Podge that down, put that clear coat on. I'm gonna go all the way down to where I stopped over here. Okay. 
All right. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm sanding a little bit of this edge, though, because I accidentally got that pink strip on there. And I don't want there to be that noticeable pink, pink line. So I'm just kind of sanding just right there to get some of that off. Okay. Okay, I'll do this part. Pretty sure I just mod podged my shirt. I am done sanding. Make sure you get all the napkin that you want sanded off. I'm gonna get a little bit of screen off. One more spot right here. Okay, now I'm gonna take my, hey Trina, how are you? That is a good idea, Teresa. I hadn't thought about that. Okay, so I'm just going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to coat this really well. Just the areas that I hadn't already done. And now, because the napkins are porous, by coating them with the Mod Podge, you're actually protecting them from any humidity or anything else that might would have damaged them. Okay, so I threw that in the water. Um, this is the bottom. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, uh oh, see one spot I missed. Let me grab a little bit more. Dots down here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some kind of floral something or another. Can y'all see? We're going to do some kind of floral something to go in the middle. But I'm going to move this out of the way. That is a really good question. I'm not sure what grit sand block it is. This is just, I bought a pack of like six sanding blocks and this came in the pack. So I don't know. I would love to tell you, but I don't have a good answer. Okay, friends, my very favorite eucalyptus comes from the Walmart floral area. So I'm going to show y'all. Kind of, I just pulled some florals before I jumped on to kind of put together to see what we want to do in the middle of this frame. Thank you, Trina. I appreciate it. So if you're just joining, we use this really fun wormhole tool. And anyone who sprinkles the video today will be entered to win their own wormhole tool. And we have our DIY Home Decor Box membership opened back up today. We're opening 20 spots for the June 25th shipment. And y'all can join me back here tomorrow live to watch the box reveal for this month. Okay, so all I did was I clipped six of these pieces and I did three going one way and three going the other way and I've got them bunched up right here in the middle. Okay, so I think that's what I want on there. I also grabbed this fun yellow because I thought that would incorporate some of that yellow and I grabbed these white, they're like berry type. So I'm gonna stick those in here. And then I'm going to do one each direction. Just so we have a little bit of white. And I'm going to go ahead and use my pipe cleaner. And I'm going to tie these, tie these up really tight so that I can keep working with them. Okay, so now I've got my florals. And I'm going to show you all. I'm going to kind of set it down. My, my Mod Podge is still a little bit wet. And I will kind of fluff these and move them different directions. But the idea is we're going to have this kind of floral swag with a bow right in the middle of our window pane. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab something. Oh, here they are. Grab my wire cutters. And I'm going to clip right there. 
So now I clip this one into two and we will layer this one in as well. I don't think I want this whole bottom. I, I wanna stop it right there. So we'll layer this one in just kind of on top. And this is the bright yellow. And then I'll wrap my pipe cleaner around that. And this pipe cleaner is a regular size pipe cleaner, but it's cut in half. And there's still plenty of room for you to wrap um, this around, like add greenery. Okay, so there is our finished little swag. Let me blow dry this and then we'll make our bow and fit it together. <laughs> ribbon that is printed and I don't know how much is left on here but I thought this would kind of be fun you could do this is wired I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of it off of the roll move this up a little bit and out of the way and we're gonna see what we've got to work with here so normally we just kind of fold these back and forth, making my loops. Um, I want them to end right, so let me. Oh shoot! Let me put it, make it in half. Okay, so now here's my middle. So I'm just gonna loop, loop over that middle. And I'm gonna pick it up, and I'm gonna go to the back. And there's a tail and then I'm going to go to the back again and there's another tail. Okay, that middle loop is a little bit small. So let me I'm gonna do that again. This time I'm going to make my loops a little bit bigger. Pick it up. And let's see. Yep. Turn. And friends, I'm just kind of playing around with this. So there's no perfect way to make a bow. But there is, now I've got four loops, two on each side, and I've got my tails. This is the back of the bow. This is going to be the front. Now I'm just going to kind of squeeze and pinch this together. So this tail is quite a bit longer. So I'm going to cut it off. And I'm going to cut this one just a little bit more of an angle. And I have sitting here some um, jute string. And I'm gonna just tie this jute string around here. Hardest part is holding the bow. I wish I would have brought one more pipe cleaner because I would have just used that and then covered it with the jute. But I didn't, so we'll make do with what we have. Set that there and I'm gonna tie it really tight. I'm going to double knot this. There we go. Okay. Now, if I needed it to be tighter, um, I could put another piece around there, but I think I'm okay for now. So here is just a fun little bow. And we will use the jute string here to attach this right to the middle of our floral. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I've already got that first jute um, string right there. And I've got extra, got extra tail. I actually probably have enough. I could just use that, flip this over 
can tie it right here to our floral flag. Let's just do that. We'll do that and then we'll use another piece of jute and we will secure it through the chicken wire to our frame. So let's get it where we want it. I'm gonna stand up for this part. So it'll be a little bit easier for me. And I am gonna kind of make my bow a little bit more funky because it's kind of one dimensional right now. But I'm gonna go just through my florals with my jute just so they can grab a hold of something. Kind of go in between. Oops. Sorry, I'm trying to get it in here. Pulling the pieces off. All right, I am gonna double knot it just so that that string does not come loose back here. Then I'm gonna set this on here and we will pull these through. So there's one, let's see, this one, push that through. Oh, I went too far, let me push this one. All right, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna double knot. Thank you, Teresa. All right, and then you can just kind of fluff it. And what I love about using the wired ribbon is if this goes in your closet, like let's say you leave it out all summer and then you're ready to put it away. If it gets flattened, it's totally okay. You just re-fluff it. Now I did lose, <coughs> And a piece of my eucalyptus. So at this point, if you want it to recover this little piece, you could always um, just find one of the little ends to attach it to. And that one's too long. It needs to come from up here. Let's see. So yeah, I love florals because I actually, when I was using um, this white today, I didn't like the leaves that were on it. So I just took it apart, took the leaves off put the berry stuff back on the top of it and use it. So what I love about florals, and it's something that you can kind of look for when you're buying, is you don't have to like every element of every floral. And not every element's gonna go together, but you can kind of mix and match based on you know what you're doing. I can't find where this goes. Um, and you can kind of pull them apart. So this is, I can see, our project for today. I think it turned out super pretty. Um, I'll show you up close. We used our wormhole. We used this to make our wormhole marks. I showed you how to distress inside of those little holes. Then we whitewashed and we napkinized. Then we made our floral swag and we attached it. I hope this was a fun project for you guys. This was a super fun project for me and it, it only took an hour. There was no painting involved. Well, I take that back. We did kind of stain, um, but this is similar to the type of project that we do in our home decor box. And we do have 20 openings um, through June the 4th, I believe you can get in. The link is in the comments. I would love it if you would sprinkle this video with your friends. Um, and anyone who sprinkles will be entered to win their own little wormhole tool maker. And um, just a tip, there's a similar project. It's not, when I say similar, we're doing a lot of the same elements, but it's gonna look completely different coming up in a few months in the home decor box. I think it's four months from now. And in that box, everyone will get their own wormhole tool maker. So, super excited about that. Um, but if you want one right now, just sprinkle this video. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow for our DIY Home Decor Box reveal. So, bye friends, have a great, great day.